Hello, First Church family and friends, and welcome to worship. Well, another Christmas holiday has come and gone, but I like to think that it really isn't over. Not when we realize that we have an everyday opportunity to sing once again in our hearts as a prayer, cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. And so let us keep our hearts open to God as we move forward, not just from the holiday, but as we move now into our time of worship. Worship today is going to be a representation of our Christmas cantata, The Winter's Rose. It is a beautiful celebration of the story of God coming to us. And so I pray that maybe now without holiday stress, you can sit and ponder like Mary did, what God has done and is doing for us. Next Sunday, we will greet the new year with a covenant renewal service, so I look forward to being with you for that. And now, let us open our hearts and worship the Lord. May God meet you in the music and in the message. God bless you. frozen beneath the chilly breath of winter, a spotless rose blooms. Against the harsh surroundings, its beauty unfolds one petal at a time. The winter rose is born so that the garden might be restored.
The Holy One of Israel says, The rain and the snow come down from heaven. They water the earth, causing it to bud and to flourish. In the cold of winter, you will be like a well-watered garden. Your Redeemer, the Rose of Sharon, will come to Zion. Blessed are all who wait for him.
every valley will be lifted high and every mountain made low. Spring will drive winter away and the garden will rejoice. Like the rose, it'll burst into bloom and the glory of the Lord, the splendor of God, will be revealed.
The fragile infant entrusted to Mary and Joseph is the promised one. With wonder, the couple ponders their sacred charge. Jesus is replete with contrast. The Christ child, sent from the riches of heaven, is born into the household of a poor carpenter. Though he possesses the universe, no one grants him shelter, and he is laid in a manger. The bread of life, laid to sleep in a feeding trough. And although he was long awaited, his birth would go unnoticed, were it not for a chorus of angels rousing shepherds from their slumber. Terrified at first, the shepherds are awestruck by the sight and sound of these heavenly beings.
against a backdrop of dazzling light. Their unearthly singing is a call to joy, their wings stirring up an infectious rhythm. Captivated by this song, the shepherds are led in a jubilant rush toward the stable. Unexpectedly, these tenders of sheep dance into the very presence of God's own Lamb. and more fragrant than these. He is the winter rose, God's gift to the world.
The rose continues to blossom, its splendor revealed to all who embrace it. Spotless and perfect, its beauty is beyond compare. But all too soon, its season passes and the rose prepares to die. The rose, adorned with thorns, stands in full bloom. One by one, the petals fall, blood red upon the ground. As they are crushed beneath the feet of the crowd, the fragrance of redemption is released.
The winter is past. The rains are over and gone. Once more, the winter rose blooms in the fertile soil of our souls. The Spirit is poured upon us from on high, its fragrance filling our hearts. The garden has been restored. Be joyful! The season for singing has come! with a beautiful, reflective piece entitled Talia Miracula. You will find a brief synopsis about this piece and the words and a PDF on our website if you would like to know more information about the song. We really pray you find some hope and some peace this Christmas season. Thank you. Here's Talia Miracula. Thank mm -hmm. you. 